All right, so in this quick video, we're just gonna make a couple of bases, one for the DC display, one for the Star Wars display. And to start off, a great material for the base that I also used for my other two displays is this Foamular project panel. It's two feet by two feet by one inch. Um, but this is a little bit thick for these shelves. A one inch thick foam board is going to push these guys up a little bit too far because these shelves are a little bit more narrow than these ones. So first I'm going to cut it down to the size I need so I don't have to cut the entire thing in half. So I just finished cutting the one inch thick board um, in half. So I cut it using this bread knife, but don't tell my wife. So this is going to be the concrete slab on the bottom of the rooftop. And I mean, this wasn't intentional, but the landscape that has formed just from cutting it, that looks really cool. I mean, so does this. It's going to be kind of a shame that I don't get to use this texture. But now, I mean, I know a way to make texture that I didn't know before. Well, it turns out this base here is uh, quite the wrong size. It's a couple inches too short and it's too long. So I don't know how that happened, but we'll have to make another one. Here's the new snowy base. Still didn't cut it quite perfectly because I had to eyeball some stuff, but now it's time to paint this. I think I'm going to paint it the color of these dark rocks, so just black and then I'm gonna cover it with some powder snow. So firstly, just apply some black. Got this for 63 cents at Hobby Lobby, just black acrylic. Then apply white to the areas where we're going to apply the snow. So the purpose of painting the ground white where the snow is gonna be is just to make the snow look a little bit thicker because if it was just sprinkled on there, it would just look like sprinkled snow. Um, but I wanted this to look like deep snow, which didn't quite work out. Now we just apply some Mod Podge so that it can stick, and then apply the snow, and we're good. So I've applied the snow, and uh, it was quite a process, a little bit messy. Here's what the snowy base looks like inside the diorama. It's kind of bowed in the middle, so I might have to get some tape or something to keep that down. And at some point I might research how to make more fluffy snow, some snow that looks a little bit deeper. Um, because I think this looks okay, but after the Mod Podge kind of dried up, um, it's clear. It's not white Mod Podge, so you can kind of see it looks a little bit sparse. So we'll see. But for now, this is what it looks like. This is how the skyscraper rooftop one looks. I accidentally cut off this end when I meant to cut off the other end. But all of this can be fixed with glue and... I don't have the right glue at the moment. I tried super glue and it started melting the styrofoam. Um, so don't do that. I think I'm gonna go grab some Gorilla Glue from Lowe's and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, here's some Gorilla Glue. Just went to Lowe's and got it for $8.55. And I've never used it before, but it says it can bind foam board. So hopefully this will work just fine. One thing I didn't know because I've never used this before, is that you need to have a canister gun in order to get the glue out. Um, but I didn't have one of those, didn't want to buy one, so I just grabbed this hammer and I stuck it in the end of it and I pushed it against my body to get the glue out, which was quite a process. I also found out that Gorilla Glue is very messy. It got all over my fingers and it's really hard to wash off, so just be aware of that. Um, it also binds pretty quickly, but the bonding doesn't set until like a day after. So you can take it off and kind of readjust it how you need. And I ended up needing to cut it down to the right size. Here's the base unpainted in display. To get these lines, I just use this metal end of the ruler and I just stuck it along there. And uh, they're not perfect, but I think if they're too perfect, then it looks a little artificial. So I started off with a coat of black and I ended up needing to use a couple coats. I needed to let it dry overnight and then paint it again and then I added the extra details that you'll see in the next clip. All right it is fully painted and I ended up painting it black and then added a gray dry brush 
over this surface to make it look a little bit roughed up. And I painted this kind of a brownish, yellowish gray to try to match the color of a lot of the buildings in the background. On camera, it doesn't pick up very well, but in person, the color matches pretty well. So we'll just wait till this fully dries, and then we'll get the figures on there and see what it looks like. Here's what it looks like with the figures on the base. And it's not perfect. It's uh, obviously a little bit bowed and the size isn't quite perfect. My other bases, they benefit a lot from a lack of precision, making them look a little bit more natural. But this one, if I had a wire cutter and I was able to cut the pieces precisely, I think it would make it look a little bit better. But for now, with the tools that I have, I think it looks pretty cool. Okay, and there you have it. Here are my four displays. Star Wars display, the snowy base, and the DC display on the rooftop. The multiverse. And the Avengers. Thanks guys for watching and if this helped you or if you have any more questions feel free to leave a comment or subscribe. Stay tuned for my next custom which is going to be Bane. Just as a sneak peek I've got a 112th Fison body ordered with a little tiny coat and some pants and yeah, I think it's going to be a fun custom, and I'll make sure to update you guys when that is complete.